at the sacrifices made by his Marines. And his words were, no statue will pay proper tribute to our Marines and sacrifices in World War II. And we need something that's a living memorial. Those who work at the hotel have taken the words of General Vandergriff and the Marines Memorial Association Mission of Education to heart. John Lockie and his team of volunteers are in charge of all of the historical displays throughout the building. It's the idea that when you come here, you're not in a sterile hotel. You're in something that has a sense of history about it. It has something that is maybe unusual that you've never seen before, or that you can look at it very close up and say, oh, golly, I didn't realize this was the actual situation. Mm -hmm. we have this Tucked away in the bowels of the hotel is where Lockheed's team prepares all of the artifacts for display. Just about everything they have has been donated. Oh, it's like a Christmas thing. You come in on a week. You know, we've been, we go for a week and we come back for a week. And we walk in and, oh, what is this? You know, open up the box and there's some thing that somebody has given us that is a part of history. Each floor has something different, whether it's the displays of uniforms or a library full of books about the military. There's also tributes to commandants and sergeants major of the Marine Corps, those who have received the Medal of Honor, and other notable Marines. Probably the most solid.